buddy. The wind is blowing. The wind is blowing. And nothing will do till we run into a pasture. Build a house with. Queenie has scooted to bury her bone. And where a winter hence, Queenie will, will be buried too. There, plunging through the healthy waste. High grass. We unreal our, our kites. Feel them twitching at the string like sky fish as they swim into the wind. Satisfied, sun warmed. We sprawl in the grass and peel aside sumos us and watch our kites cavort. Soon I forget the sack and hand me down the water. I'm as happy as if we'd already won the $50,000 grand prize in that coffee naming contest. My, how foolish I am, my friend. And cries suddenly alert like a woman remembering too late. And she has biscuits in the oven. You know what I've always thought? She asks in a tone of discovery. And not smiling at me, but a point beyond. I've always thought a body would have to be sick and dying before they saw the Lord. And I imagine that, that when he came, it would be like looking at the Baptist window. Pretty as colored glass. With the sun pouring through. Such a shine. You don't know it's getting dark. And it's been a comfort to think of that shine. Taking away all the spooky feelings. But I'll wager it. It never happens. I'll wager the at the very end, a body realizes that the Lord has already shown himself. That things as they are. Her hand circles in a gesture like the others, the clouds, and kites, and grass, and dust, and queenie pine, earth over her bone. Just what they've always seen was seeing him. As for me, I could leave the world with today in my eyes. This is our last Christmas together. Life separates us! Those who know best decide that I belong in a military school. And so follow a miserable succession of bugle blowing prisons. Grim, revelry ridden summer camps. I have a new home too. But it doesn't count. Home is where my, my friend is. And there I never go. And there she remains, puttering around the kitchen along with Queenie. Then alone. Buddy dear! She writes in her wild, hard to read script. Yesterday, Jim Macy's horse kicked Queenie bad. Be thankful she didn't feel much. I wrapped her in a fine linen sheet and rode her in the buggy down to Simpson's pasture where she can be with all her bones. For a few Novembers, she continues to bake her fruit cakes, single, candid. <laughs> Not as many, but some. And of course, she always sends me the best of the batch. Also, in every letter, she encloses a dime wanted in toilet paper. She sees the a picture, show, and write me the story. But gradually, in her letters, she tends to confuse me with her other friend, the buddy who died in the 1880s. More and more, the teens are not the only days she stays in bed. The morning arrives, arrives in November, a leafless, breathless, this coming of winter morning, when she cannot rouse herself to exclaim, <laughs> Oh my, it is fruitcake weather.